This is an example of how to do a simple pocket on a mill power based on the blueprint that uh, was shown on the screen. We actually use a series of pockets to get this material removed, but I'm just going to do the uh, a large pocket to get most of the material out just to show you a feel for the control. Um, as you saw, the X0, Y0 is in the lower left corner of the, of the part. We'll start by pressing program, programming a tool diameter based on the corner radius of the pocket. So the tool diameter is half inch. Save that, we'll call up um, rectangle and pocket and start filling in the data. First corner, uh, I'm going to make the lower left corner off the edge of the part. So, first corner will be x minus 0.3 and y 1.125. Size of the pocket, I'm going to take the um, 7.375 and add. 0.3 to it. And the size of the pocket in Y given the blueprint is 4.156 minus 1.125. That's the width. Therefore, we don't have to program the second corner. Now, Z information, just make it 100 out deep. Um, table feed rate, corner blend radius. Angle, finish stock amount, and finish feed rate. So there's the pocket. You can see the X and Y datum here. And that would go ahead and uh, machine out the majority of that pocket, and then the customer can use uh, smaller pockets to remove the remaining. We want to save this program. And the program functions and save. We'll give it a name of some sort. As far as graphics go, we can go to Run Options, turn on our graphics and dry run, and have a look at it. Now this is simulating the tool cutting the pocket. Okay, for the Y center point of the pocket, another simple calculation is required. Looking at the blueprint, uh, I'll take 4.156 minus 1.125. Uh, divide that in half, and then add 1.125 to it. So 1.515 plus 1.125. And 2.6405 is the answer for the Y center point. Corner radius, uh, again, you can see the graphics as they come up on the screen here. Corner rad, 0.25. Um, tool step over, 0.25. Uh, max depth of cut, I'll leave blank so it'll take a full depth. Same with the return height. And ramping and roughing feed rates, um, I'll just put some sample feed rates in stock amount and side stock we have the option of separating that and press the use button that's pretty much the end of the program if we want to look on graphics uh, we can go exit and go into draw mode and it'll show the solid model here and you can see how I extended the pocket off the left edge of the part Top. 3D blueprint view, line graphics, three-dimensional line graphics, and shaded solid model. That's the end.